These satellite images show silos designed to house Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, or ICBMs, according to military analysts. Hundreds have been constructed in China's desert regions in the last couple of years. The launch pads are one step in China's growth as a nuclear force, touted in footage broadcast by Chinese state media. And analysts say they're getting closer to matching the U.S.'s capabilities across land, sea, and air. Both countries are unlikely to deploy nuclear weapons, but reaching triad capabilities enforces China's strength as a nuclear power. So we unpack how the U.S. and China's current nuclear arsenals match up. Since World War II, the U.S. has been testing nuclear weapons. This created a decades-long lead on China. But military analysts and U.S. officials say China's capabilities are rapidly growing under President Xi Jinping. China currently has an estimated inventory of 400 warheads, but the Pentagon says it's on the path to having as many as 1,500 by 2035. Compare that to the U.S., which has an operational warhead inventory restricted to 1,550. And China's nuclear modernization process involves more than increasing the number of warheads. The country is also advancing the types of launchers in all three triad areas. Land-based systems are key in that three-pronged nuclear structure. For China, it's the DF-41, an ICBM which defense analysts say could be deployed in those silos. The missiles can also be launched from mobile systems. And the U.S. military says China now has more land-based launchers than the U.S. The DF-41 is likely capable of carrying three warheads, defense analysts say, using what's called a MIRV system. MIRV enables the weapons to deliver multiple warheads for different targets, dropping them at separate points along the same trajectory. And Chinese state officials said the missile can travel up to 9,300 miles, making it one of the longest-range weapons of its type in Beijing's arsenal. Compare that with the U.S. version, the Minuteman III. The missile has a range of over 6,000 miles. It's also capable of carrying three warheads using MIRV, but the U.S. limits its systems to only deploy one. Analysts say that China's expansion on land is partly to do with America's development of conventional or non-nuclear weapons. The Americans have a military that is increasingly emphasizing long-range conventional precision strike. Hans Christensen has been studying the status of U.S. nuclear weapons since the early 1980s. Those types of weapons that, for many targets, can hold at-risk targets that previously needed nuclear warheads to be uh, held at risk. And this is, in fact, a serious concern for the Chinese. And one of the reasons, I think, that they are building these large silo fields deep inside China. The Chinese government did not respond to a WSJ request for comment on whether the building of the silos was tied to American military advancements. And a senior Chinese official would not confirm the missile silos in comments to state TV in 2022. However, the official did say the size of China's nuclear force should not be estimated based on satellite imagery. Those silos also reveal a key issue with land-based systems. They're visible. So building nuclear missiles for submarines, or SSBNs, is a way to remain incognito. Defense experts say Beijing's current underwater fleet has some crucial vulnerabilities. The Chinese nuclear submarines are widely believed to be much noisier than the American ones. That's Dr. Tong Zhao. He's been researching China's nuclear weapons for more than 10 years. And that would significantly undermine the overall survivability of the Chinese submarines and therefore undermine the overall credibility of its sea-based nuclear deterrence. Another crucial differentiator is how far the missiles launched from the vessels can travel. Take China's newest Jin-class submarine compared with the latest U.S. version, the Ohio-class. This submarine carries the Trident II missile, which can travel approximately 6,480 nautical miles, whereas China's carries JL-2 missiles, which have a shorter range of approximately 3,800 nautical miles. The JL-2 is sufficient for China to target Alaska, Guam, and Hawaii from waters near China, some military experts say. But to hit U.S. mainland targets, Beijing's vessels would need to be deployed farther from China's coast into the Pacific, where military experts say the U.S. has an advantage. That's because the U.S. has placed anti-submarine defenses in the waterway, limiting China's ability to travel deep into the waters. They can go out and, and take all sorts of positions um, where they're going to strike from, how close are they going to be to the Chinese mainland, 
But China's ability to strike anywhere could come together with the deployment of its new JL-3 system. The Pentagon says it has an estimated range of over 5,400 nautical miles and would, for the first time, place the west coast of the U.S. with incredible striking range of China. The last piece of a nuclear triad status? Capabilities in the air. For China, it may come down to the H-20 stealth strategic bomber. It's yet to be unveiled, but in a 2022 report, the Pentagon said the aircraft would have a range of 6,200 miles. This could help China to reach previously out-of-range areas of the Western Pacific, including this U.S. base in Guam. It's unclear when the aircraft will be ready for deployment. Are they already fully operationally deployed, or are they still going through testing and readjustment? We don't know. In contrast, the U.S. has already released new advancements in the air, with this B-21 stealth bomber unveiled in early December. This will be the first time that the United States has long-range nuclear cruise missiles on a stealth bomber. Military analysts say the plane helps to modernize the country's large but aging fleet. Even when the Chinese get their bomber force up to full snuff, it's still not a global strike force uh, like the American at all. Even with the U.S. ahead in the air, China's growth is likely to continue. Experts on world nuclear powers say that President Xi Jinping's interest in expanding Beijing's nuclear arsenal has increased as China becomes an economic and political rival to the U.S. The closer China is able to catch up with the United States in terms of comprehensive national power, his thinking is the more desperate the U.S. would become to contain China, to make trouble for China. While it's extremely unlikely either nation will actually deploy nuclear weapons, the Pentagon has said China's expanding nuclear stockpile could negatively impact global strategic stability. The prospect of a U.S.-China war over Taiwan or another uh, uh, regional flashpoint uh, is uh, much realistic than before. The Biden administration has attempted to reduce the threat of a nuclear conflict by pushing for arms control talks with China. But China has rejected those overtures, citing its smaller inventory and saying the U.S. should reduce its stockpile first. And military analysts note that China's expansion also comes after decades of criticizing the United States and Soviet Union for possessing nuclear triad status. China sees itself as a leading international power which deserves to possess the same capabilities as the other nuclear major powers. 